Hi, this is Gene Arnold from TIPCO Jaspersoft, and today I'd like to show you a real nice example on how to use Visualize.js and a templating library called Handlebars to create a really cool example of dynamically building out tabs within your user interface based on different dashboards that exist inside of um, the repository. Now before I actually get into the example, just a real quick note about Handlebars. It is a really neat uh, templating engine, or uh, library if you will, that helps you dynamically build the unit user interface on your web page. So what you'll see in the example is we'll bring back all the different dashboards from Jasper Report Server's repository and we'll build up an object and then we'll compile that object or merge that object against a handlebar template and that will build out our UI on the fly. Really neat example, I like it a lot, so stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how that works. In order to better understand the code, I thought it might be good to show you what the finished product looks like first. The idea behind the example is to have your dashboard tabs on your UI built out by simply the fact that a dashboard exists inside of a specific folder in your repository. So these tabs are being dynamically built because of the fact that a dashboard is, uh, exists inside of a specific folder. So when you click on the tabs, you'll see that the dashboard is um, generated and built right here on your web page. And as you go and you click on the other tabs, your other dashboards will automatically, uh, well, they'll be generated. Inside of my repository, I have a dashboard tab example folder. If there is a dashboard in here, then a tab will be generated to represent that dashboard. Now if I go over here and open up the samples folder, dashboards, and we take the sales metrics uh, dashboard, and then go back to our dashboard tab example, paste that in, and I'm going to change the name of this one. We're going to make this uh, number four. Now if we come back to our example, one, two, three, let's do a refresh. Well, you now see four. Kind of cool. All right, and when you click on your new fourth one, that dashboard is automatically created within the UI. And these actual tabs are being generated using a, um, a handlebars template. So now I'll take you to the code. I'll show you how the whole thing works and um, hopefully you'll like the example. I'm using an example that I found online on how to create the, uh, the tabs. And then I took that tab example and then kind of uh, embedded the handlebar framework inside of it. So the tab uh, example that I found was hard coded to X number of tabs and you could add more code and add more tabs. I didn't want to have that happen. I wanted it to be dynamically uh, built based on how many uh, dashboards are inside of the repository folder. This is what a this is what a template looks like in handlebars. It's kind of cool. Uh, actually, I, I really like it a lot. What happens is this: the each call is actually you know kind of like what you would think each would be. It, it would iterate through an object, and for each item, it's going to create it. A section in here so it's going to cycle through as many items as I bring into it and every time you see these little curly uh, these curly brackets or what I guess they're making them look like handlebars okay you can see why they might call it mustache this is kind of a uh, template that will be replaced by something that I pass in so the whole thing here in general is a template and we pull this template in based on an ID we compile it and then we merge our content against this and then build something. That is 
what this basically does. I'll put a link in, in the actual code as well to handlebars and a, a link to maybe an example that I use to learn more about this. Within this code, you're doing standard visualize calls, right? The top, we authenticate. What I'm doing here is I'm researching, or rather resource searching, for um, my dashboards. So I'm going to a specific location inside of the repository. All right, I uh, have it set to false. I just want to bring in the items inside of that one folder. If there were subfolders in that folder, this would restrict it to not go any deeper. Upon success, which of course we always hope we have, we'll take the result object, all right, and we'll use that information to then go and iterate through and build out our content. Now what's really neat about this is that you're building an object, like a, you know, a JSON type of object, and you're going to merge that object against the handlebar template. Okay, so we're going to get that template from the main page. Remember I said we have an ID and we're going to pull that in and compile it. So we pull in the, the template, we put it into an object, we use that object and compile it. That gives, it our, gives us a template. Our template will take in um, content and then you can place that content inside of your template. So let's take a look at what that, what that actually looks like. Um, my tabs, that's the information I have to pull back from Jaspersoft. So I'll do that by iterating through my repository return and I'm building out this object. Okay, no big deal. Tabs, push. Okay, we're pushing in more objects. Each one is representing a, a specific tab. Okay, all the content I'm pulling back to build out that tab is coming back from Visualize. No big deal. All right, and then I'm uh, just setting up a little description so when you look at the tab, you can have it say whatever you want. Um, if it's the first one, I'm setting that to be the active tab. If it's not, then the status would not be active. And then uh, the URL, because I need that URL later on when I want to run the dashboard. So this is what builds out my content for my, um, my template. Then we'll take our template, and just like I said before, we will go and use the content that we uh, grabbed and push it into our actual final result for handlebars. This is basically the merge of the template and the content, and it gives us our tab data. You can call it whatever you want, but our final product. And then we push that final product back into a specific container on the web page. All right, so this is the actual finished result. Technically, we're done. Here is what I'm simply using to actually go and uh, display the um, the reports. I'm, I'm sorry, the dashboards. We're done here. We went and we grabbed some data. We built our tabs. Everything stops here for all intensive purposes. The rest of this code is what I'm using to actually go and make my different um, make my different dashboards show up when you click on a tab. What you're pretty much doing over here is you're setting up whether a tab should be uh, active or not. That's what I'm doing here by taking a look at the status. And the neat thing is when you click on an actual tab, okay, here's my click function. If I click on an active tab, I'll simply go and take a look at the tab and find my URI to the dashboard. Well, I pull that back and then I send it into the report to display. Real quick, let me take a look at this code. I'll break it down when it actually runs and uh, give you an idea what's going on over here. Let me go and turn on the um, more tools, developer tools. All right, we'll take a look at the source and let's go over here real quick and I will stop it here. Okay, I chose to stop it here specifically to show you what's, what's going on. 
Um, repository, great, we have our object, right? We pull back our four tabs. This is all the information about each tab. Cool. We then go and build out our, our new object that we're gonna use inside of my um, template. Okay, so that's the tabs push. So let's take a look at what tabs actually is. Again, four objects, but these objects have been specifically put together to work nicely, right, for my handlebar merge. Let me show you what tab info looks like. All right, that's better. If you take a look at tab info, tab info is the actual template from the other page. So tab info, info, tab info is pulling back that template. Then we compile it against the handlebars compiler to give us our template. Then we take that template and we push our data against it and give us our final result. So that's what we're getting over here. If we take a look at tab data now, let's take a look at tab data. Tab data. Now notice what tab data is. Kind of neat. Tab data is tab info merged with data. I think that's kind of cool, right? Tab info is the information we pulled back from the script, the template. Merging that against the, the data object that we built gives us tab data. Kind of cool, everything in it now. Notice the information here. Here's my, my data URI to go back and find the dashboard. Now when I click on it, it'll fire it. So let's go and run this here real fast. And if I go into here, we'll just put this, um, if I can grab this right over here. Okay, when I click on it, it's going to go and get my actual tab. And it allows me to go and get information about that and build out my dashboard. Let me go and do this here real quick. This is kind of neat. Uh, let's go like this, this, and this. Okay, so now I call a little J, uh, jQuery function to pull back my tab. There's my tab. And that's where I'm going to end up putting my new dashboard. If I click on the rest of the code here, my dashboard shows up on the screen. Well, hopefully you found this informative. Um, there's a gazillion ways you can do things like this. This is just one example. I just thought that handlebars was pretty cool. Uh, what else could you do with that? Well, you can use the same idea for maybe a list of reports you want to have on the side when an end user wants to see what reports they're allowed to see. They can use handlebars to create that dynamic growing list. Input controls. You can have logic inside the handlebars template and by using the logic you can decide what input controls would be created and have it dynamically built. So the idea is to take the, um, the presentation layer and move it away from the code layer and keep them separate and have the two talk to each other. So this is a, hopefully a decent example of that. Okay, thanks a lot.